this, um, there are reasons why this is an odd shaped board and it has wormholes and the writing is all over the place because this is possibly the oldest of all these languages. Tifanach is closely connected with Old Phoenician and Old Phoenician was one of the oldest languages in the uh, eastern end of the Mediterranean and the Greeks, the ancient Greeks, um, adopted the idea of writing and some of the letters from ancient Phoenician. And Tifanach is the, the uh, writing system of the Berber people, um, the Tuareg um, of uh, North Africa. And because they're nomads and because they are sort of forever on the, the fringes of, of sort of government and civilization, they have been the subject of sort of uh, human rights abuses of all kinds over the centuries. Um, and the fact that they are sort of um, a marginalized people sort of works to their advantage because it means they can write in their, this language of theirs and no one knows what it means. And this is sort of a very roughly a facsimile of writing that you will find in caves on the walls deep in the Sahara. And if, I've seen photographs of this stuff, I haven't seen it live. And it's really, really weird. It looks as if it is older than, than the human race itself. It looks like the cave paintings in Lascaux. You know, you look at it and you sort of say, this cannot possibly have happened. This must be like aliens landing here and writing this stuff because it's so odd and it, it, it meanders around the cave walls. It's not in straight lines, which is why I've done it un unevenly here. And yet some of these things look like Greek letters. Some of them look like mathematical symbols. It, it defies you to believe that this is writing as we understand it. And yet Tifanach in its, you know, kind of fringe way is very much alive and you can go on the website and you can find computer games in Tifinach.